You've probably clicked this video thinking I'm going to say some terrible things about Minecraft Java Edition, but the truth is, I love this game, and I've played on Java Edition for many years. With that being said, I don't think this game is perfect. There are some real issues with this game that players across the Minecraft community have mentioned over the past years. Many players across the community have noticed their games were more laggy and suffered from stutter issues with recent updates. These updates made Minecraft more expansive and filled with features, but it makes you wonder if future updates will actually hurt Minecraft's playability. It makes you wonder if these new features are really worth it if they're going to slow down the game and cause a lot more lag. There are a lot of posts across Reddit and on the Minecraft forums which seem to be saying the same thing. Players are having real issues when playing Minecraft 1.18 and 1.19. Some players were having lag spikes that made the game unplayable. Others were noticing decreased frame rates when updating to the newer versions. Others even noticed how Minecraft was using way more computer resources than it should be. But whenever these posts were made, the top response was always the same. Use performance enhancing mods like Sodium or Optifine in order to improve the gameplay. I believe this is one of the main problems with Java Edition. Why should players have to rely on modders to make Minecraft playable? Why cannot Mojang develop the game in the same way that these modders do? They seem to know how to make the game run better than Mojang ever could officially. One of my favorite examples of modders improving this game is this little mod called Lazy DFU. This mod was created by Tuxed, and I say it's a little mod because the mod itself is only about a dozen lines of code, yet it brings a major improvement to Minecraft Java Edition. Without going into too much detail, what this mod does is disable some immediate background processes to make the game load up faster. This developer actually ran a test which proves this, and the results showed that with Lazy DFU, the game launched way faster on both a high-end PC and on a laptop. But let's continue with one of the more popular performance mods amongst the Java community, Optifine. According to their FAQ section, you can expect a performance increase of around 200% with the frame rate. It also has added benefits of speeding up chunk loading, which can make a huge difference for a lot of players. Three years ago, this Reddit user ran an experiment to prove that Optifine made drastic improvements to Minecraft. His experiment showed that vanilla Minecraft would take a couple of minutes to render 32 chunks, while Optifine would only take around 10 seconds, give or take a few. But this is just the Tip of the iceberg. There are several mods out there that have been suited towards making Minecraft more playable, not just Optifine. Personally, if it weren't for the modding community, I wouldn't be playing the latest versions of the game. I need to use several mods like Sodium, Lithium, Starlight, Lazy DFU, and Ferrite Core just so I could have a smoother experience while playing the game. There's a Reddit thread which goes into detail on this particular kind of lag that occurs with the most recent updates. This user mentions that they only seem to get lag spikes when they step out into areas they haven't been before, which is a clear indication of chunk loading or the Minecraft world being loaded in causing lag. It would make sense because these recent updates have expanded the game more than any other with the increased height limit, with new biomes and new structures needing to be generated. So it's no surprise that computers would start to feel the pressure of new Minecraft Java updates. So why does Mojang not take the same approach to improving performance that mods like Sodium and Optifine have proven to be possible? Well, this is a question that has been asked many times. Why doesn't Mojang work with mod teams to improve their game? They should dedicate an update to optimization. On the Lazy DFU demonstration video, someone mentions that they don't understand how the modding scene isn't part of the development process. On another video, this comment echoes the same confusion. How can Java Edition run so poorly when the community has been able to increase the quality and at times triple the game's performance? That last comment was made on a video by Zoomavoid, which aimed to answer a similar question. Why can't Mojang develop like modders? Now we could ask these questions and we could keep wondering why Mojang doesn't do what we want them to, 
but there are a few reasons why this performance problem is a very difficult one to solve, as much as Java players would like to see Mojang optimize the game. The first reason was actually brought up in a reply to the YouTube comment I showed earlier. It's known that performance boosting mods are not always guaranteed to improve performance, and can sometimes create new problems. Zoomavoid mentions rendering issues with performance mods, so I did a bit of research myself and found a couple cases of rendering issues with Optifine. I'm not sure if Sodium has the same problems, but Optifine even says on their own website that in the worst case, the mod gives no performance performance boost compared to the original game. Optifine does offer a lot of benefits to players, and there's a reason why it's been downloaded millions of times. But there's a lot that goes into Mojang's development of Minecraft. They are well aware of the modding community and what they've been able to achieve with their game. But officially adding the same development and optimizations to the game may not be as simple as it is for modders in the community. Also, an update focusing on optimizations, while desirable by some players in the Java community, is not something that the majority of players would get excited for. Most players have been doing just fine with Java Edition, and those who do have issues can usually fix them with mods. For Mojang, the real profit is in adding new features to the game. New features means more content for creators to make, which means more players wanting to play the game. Now behind the scenes, Mojang is always making tweaks and bug fixes with every update. We cannot exactly know why Mojang doesn't fix their game in a similar way to how the modding community has. We can come up with reasons, but at the end of the day we are still in the same situation. We have a game which is poorly optimized in certain aspects, and we have an active community which have provided solutions for the game. But the issue is that modding is becoming a necessity. Modding shouldn't be something that players need so they can play Minecraft, especially since if they download mods from the wrong places, they could get a computer virus. I mean, it's a rare circumstance, but it can happen, especially when more people start to mod the game because it's crucial to Java Edition's playability. But what do you think about Java Edition and the modding community? Let me know in the comments below because I'd love to hear what you think. Otherwise, I've left a couple videos on the screen for you to watch next. So check them out if you want to, and I'll see you all in the next video.